Hey everybody, it's Tracy. Um, I'm going to try to record with my glasses on so I can see, but hopefully not get the glare of my ring light in my glasses. So, today I wanted to talk about um, setting like boundaries and limits with your health versus motivation and when to know when to push through and when to rest. Um, I'm not sure about you, but f with my health conditions, and I've got a lengthy list and I'll post those below, but I deal with chronic fatigue and insomnia and chronic daily pain. You know, when you add all those things up, it's like a perfect storm for, I don't want to get out of bed. And there's a lot of days when I, I don't. I would have to say the majority of the time I don't get up and do a whole lot. I get up and go in and get refill my water or get coffee or let the dogs out. I do get up sometimes multiple times in an hour to you know go to the restroom or you know do something some often related to the dogs or whatever because I don't want to just lay in bed and get a blood clot or something. But the truth is, is that when I get up and I try, the more I try to do, the worse my symptoms get. For example, migraines are made exponentially worse with movement. Um, now my fibro and my arthritis, when I get up and walk around and move around a little bit, it actually makes that a little bit better. Now I'm not talking, I'm running around the house, I'm not running laps, I'm not walking around the block, I'm talking about getting up out of the bed and walking from my bedroom to the kitchen or to the laundry room or to the living room. And I've got a, got a circle thing that I can do in my house. When you walk in the house, there's stairs and then there's a hallway and that hallway goes all the way down around into the kitchen and then you can walk all the way around the living room and back into the hallway. So you can kind of do laps around my house and sometimes I do that um, like when my blood pressure is low or whatever but I have a little bit of a hard time and I know we all get where people well I'd like to lay in bed all day too and I'm tired too and you're just lazy you know and I always battle as a type A personality, somebody who's, you know, has slight OCD tendencies where I am not happy and satisfied when I lay in my bed and I, or I walk around my house and I look at the condition that it's in. I am not happy. I am not satisfied because I know it needs to be cleaned. Other people walk in my house and they look at my house and they think it's clean and I'm like, Okay, I have a superpower. I'm the only one that can see the dust that the floor needs to be mopped. You know, apparently I'm the only person that can see this. I, it's kind of like Superman's x-ray vision or something. Apparently I'm the only one that can see it. Which I guess is good because you don't get other people walking in going, Oh my God, their house is a mess. Um, but you lay in bed when you can't do anything else and that's what you think about. So there are days when my pain is low that I will go try to at least get something done. And if you've ever watched the channel, The Fry Life, um, Mary and Peter are uh, the couple who run The Fry Life and their dog, Ollie. He's a standard poodle, by the way, service dog, yay for standard poodles or poodles in general, because I have two toy poodles. Mary has cystic fibrosis and she always says, do what you think you can't do. So it's kind of pushing yourself a little bit, even though you don't feel well, to do something that you don't think you can do. So what I have purpose to do is to find something most every day that I can do. It may be I get the feather duster and go around and walk down the hall and dust all the f pictures in the hall, hanging in the hallway, or I get the feather duster and I go dust the tables in the living room or dust my bedroom or something that's relatively minor like that that I could almost do like the pictures in the hallway I don't even have to bend over I can just like as I'm doing a lap around the house I can just like run the feather duster over the pictures and I can be done you know something as little as that or 
like empty the little trash cans in my bedroom or my bathroom or run the vacuum over the rug in the living room something do something every day it may not be a lot it may seem really inconsequential but like if there's a place where you sit or you lay or you spend your time convalescing with your illness pick something that you can see from that area something that is next to you at your level or whatever clean it dust it organize it something and then you'll feel like you've gotten something done you may not take a shower you may not get your clothes on you may only move from the bed to the couch but if there's something that you can do very minor between the bed and the couch like take a feather duster and run along pictures in the hallway or you know dust off your living room table or throw the takeout cartons away or whatever pick one thing that you can do every day and if you do that one thing and you sit down and you rest and if you can do something an hour or two or later in the day you can think hmm let me see if I can do that thing and pick one other thing before you know it you at little you've taken baby steps to do something you think you can't do and you've made a little bit of progress in doing something around your house and nobody else may not know may not notice it it may be something that's bothering you or it may just be a teeny tiny sense of accomplishment because you did something which is you know resting and taking care of yourself and healing is something too but that can get monotonous <laughs> it can get boring and you get to begin to feel like a drain on your family and you know that they have to do everything for you and you can't contribute anything try to find at least one small thing every day that you can do and just give yourself a sense of accomplishment you've done something besides just exist you know and heal or whatever um that's what i'm doing and it's it's making me feel better about the, the amount of time that I have to spend doing absolutely nothing because of my pain or, you know, my dizziness and my balance and nausea and all of the things that come along with multiple chronic illnesses. I'm trying to find at least doing one thing. It helps me mentally, emotionally, physically, and I feel like I've accomplished something, no matter how small. It, it's helping. It helps me. So hopefully it will help you too. Anyway, that's my life hack tip for today. Hope you have a good one, and I will talk to you soon.